Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking the time to join this presentation on ransomware defense with Cyber Reason. Uh, this is something we are laser focused on. We're paying attention to the, the ins and outs and, and the workings of some of these ransomware groups. And we're going to be talking about successful strategies to defend against advanced ransomware adversaries. So with that, let's let's kick it off and, and get started. Uh, the, the first thing that, that we want to mention is that ransomware is absolutely a big business. It's a full blown dark economy. And this is a bit of a shift from years past. If you think five to seven years ago, 10 years ago, ransomware attacks were typically sporadic spray and pray type attacks that involved lone wolf operators, um, a little bit more of a, a cottage business, maybe hacktivist type groups, but smaller operations. And uh, what we're seeing now is that ransomware is a massive dark economy. Uh, we, what we're seeing is that it's, it's more of an industry uh, it's mechanized, it's mature, and they, they are uh, absolutely capable of, of re wreaking havoc and uh, doing large amounts of damage, especially to uh, underprepared and uh, un underprepared organizations and those with weakened defenses. Some of these ransomware groups, what, what's interesting about them is they don't have the burden of paying uh, big marketing teams. They, they don't have to pay taxes. They don't have to pay sales folks. And the money that they do make, which could be you know, tens of millions, e even up to around 100 million a year or so, they funnel that money back into engineering and R&D. Their, their currency is, uh, is, is creating zero day threats, uh, exploiting uh, zero days and, and vulnerabilities in, in uh, software products. And they wanna create more of those and have as many of those as possible because that means uh, better ransomware and more successful attacks. Some of these groups also they they borrow from legitimate business models. So they they see what works from legitimate businesses. They we we have ways of doing things. We have tools and processes, uh, networks, models, uh, channel partnerships, etc. And a, a lot of those uh, legitimate business tactics can be borrowed by these ransomware groups. In particular, look at groups like Revol, Darkside, and and others. Uh, and not just the business models, but they also have tools. The, the big target right now currently is Microsoft Azure. That's, that's what we're seeing that these groups wanna, want to exploit. But uh, so they, they have cloud infrastructure, but on top of that, they're also using machine learning. They have open source tools and, and it's a pretty broad capable uh, toolkit and that, that makes them able to uh, know what you're using in your environment and be able to exploit that. One thing that, that we like to talk about as well is you can tell how mature a given industry is or a, a given business is by the amount of specialization. Uh, and, and some of these ransomware groups have uh, a whole lot of specialization, especially with, within their roles. Uh, they have folks that are uh, dedicated nine to five, Monday through Friday, just on negotiation. They have folks that are just a part of the engineering group. They, they have uh, folks that have dedicated really specific roles. And that tells us that that these are uh, mechanized, mature, and and uh, growing, capable businesses. So the the long story short here, and, and there's there's definitely more to talk about, but this is this is just kind of a, a brief intro to what we're seeing. Uh, these groups are well funded, they're capable, and uh, your average information security team is going to be outgunned, outmatched, and and completely outclassed if if you. Uh, find yourself in, in the crosshairs of some of these uh, advanced ransomware groups. So that's the bad news. Um, adversaries are sophisticated. This isn't a problem that's going away. If anything, this is going to become more of an issue uh, in, in coming years, 2023, 2024, and, and moving on. And if adversaries have this level of, of sophistication, your defenses absolutely have to be on par and be equally capable. Here at Cyber Reason, this is something that we are focused on. This is a niche for us. This is this is something we put a lot of time, effort, and thought into. And we deliver a solution for ransomware that is absolutely next gen. It's it rises to the challenge of of these sophisticated adversaries, and we're thinking about every way that ransomware can be packaged and delivered. So uh, en enough of the slides, I, I think it would be good to get into some demo and show you exactly how it works and the type of uh, protection that you can expect with Cyber Reason technology. So in this demo, we're, we're going to show first and foremost our prevention strategy against ransomware. So the on, on the prevention side of things, this is gonna happen automatically. It's gonna happen behind the scenes. 
Uh, think of this as like a next generation antivirus type, type technology. And this is gonna solve most of your problems. So first we have Conti uh, ransomware that's loaded up and we're gonna run this Conti executable against a, a system that is unprotected, that does not have cyber reason in place. And what we notice is that uh, the, the files that were targeted by this ransomware, they are encrypted. We see changes to the file names, changes to the file extensions, and, and these are clearly corrupted files. Next, you see the little owl in the bottom of your screen. This is a system that's protected by cyber reason. And we're going to run the same test. We're, we're going to let this Conti uh, strain of ransomware execute. And we're going to see some pretty interesting things happen here. First and foremost, that Conti file itself was wiped. We deleted it and quarantined the file. Then there's a notification that comes up from the cyber reason console saying ransomware was detected and suspended. Most importantly, though, we look at the files themselves and we see that the files remain unchanged, uncorrupted, no encryption took place. So that's the prevention. That's going to solve most of your problems. Uh, but what if it's a sophisticated attack? That's where our EDR strategy comes into play. We help you detect and respond to ransomware in your environment, root it out quickly uh, before uh, those attackers can uh, take hold and, and do damage within your environment. So our biggest, uh, the, the most valuable thing that, that we can do for your organization is move you from an alert-centric state to an operation-centric state. We do this through what we call the MALOP. MALOP is short for malicious operation. This is how we condense and consolidate alerts into a single view within the UI. Every MALOP is gonna have uh, some really key pieces of, of information. You're gonna be able to see root cause. Who is, patient, who is patient zero? How did they get in? And then you're gonna be able to see the timeline. What were the chains of behaviors that we saw that were a part of this operation? This, these chains of behaviors extend beyond just a single machine or a single user, uh, and, and we are able to correlate what happened across the entire enterprise within a single view. You can drill down into pretty much any of these uh, categories. You can look at the suspicions. Uh, what, what did we see that led us to convict this into a malop that, that said uh, this was more than just uh, a, a, a suspicious item. This was actually uh, bona fide malicious. And because it's ransomware, we also want to take a look at the files. Were there any files that, that were impacted by this, by this uh, ransomware attack? Uh, we can also take a look at the process profile. Uh, wh what were the relationships and, and the types of processes that were involved in this particular attack? What were all of the machines, the, the full scope of all of the machines and the users? It's important to look at identities as well. And, and that's gonna be a little bit more of, a, of, of an XDR type strategy that's included within our EDR module. So something interesting that, that a lot of folks do, if, if you are an incident responder or an investigator, you might want to look at the attack tree and the relationships between the processes themselves. So in this particular attack, we have Red Server 32 that spawned msbuild.exe. Red Server 32 is a super common process. It exists on every Windows machine in the planet. Same with msbuild.exe. And then msbuild was, was what was used to launch or spawn PowerShell. And then from, from that point, we see the transition from normal benign processes to uh, malicious use of, of PowerShell. Uh, from this point, we might wanna do some interesting things. We might want to see, does this behavior exist anywhere else in my enterprise? Is MS build being used to spawn PowerShell in any other location? You can do this by building a query within the Cyber Reason console. You don't need lines upon lines of Splunk code and, and use complicated query language. You can build these queries in point and click fashion. And so we, we run the simple query. We see that, yes, we do have other instances of, of, uh, um, uh, of that benign process being used to launch PowerShell. Visibility is important. It's important to see what's going on. But really, the, the most valuable thing that we can do for your organization is orchestrate response across all impacted users and devices with a single click because the MALOP understands that full attack story, the full scope and narrative of, of, of the entire operation. Uh, we help you to coordinate, automate, and orchestrate that response to all impacted users and devices with a single click. So that's gonna be one of the most valuable things we can do for your organization and help you be more effective and also more efficient in your operations uh, against ransomware. So this is just a, a teaser. This is an, an intro. Uh, there's obviously a lot more to talk about here. So we want to continue the conversation. Uh, feel free to reach out to us in any way that, that you think is best through the website or also through the portal of this event. 
and we would love to continue the conversation and help you and your organization be better prepared against the, the threat of ransomware. Thank you.